What's up, Fanversation fans? I'm Katie Cullen, and I'm here at San Diego Comic-Con 2023 talking Mortal Kombat 1. Here's who I talked with today. I'm here with Tiago Gomez. How are you doing today? Hi, good. Busy. How are you? Doing all right. Comic-Con's a crazy one. <laughs> so, you are the art development director for this game. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your approach to the style, how much you brought in from Mortal Kombat nostalgia, how much is brand new. Just mm -hmm. talk to me about the art. I mean, I think, you know, one of the big things with us, with MK1, um, is building off of what happened at the end of Mortal Kombat 11. So Liu Kang kills Kronika, becomes Fire God Liu Kang, sets off to rewrite the universe. Um, and in doing that, it's, it's all kind of tied back into his aesthetics, the way, you know, things he remembers, his design choices. So being able to tell this, this story, to be able to show Mortal Kombat through the eyes of Liu Kang has been really, really awesome and rewarding to see. So taking our pinnacle character, as it were, and reshaping yeah. the world in his image. In his image, exactly, yeah. So, you know, he grew up in, he's a Shaolin monk. He grew up in China. So a lot of our design choices are, are based off of, you know, art and, and architecture from that region, right? There's so much beautiful art over there, and it's, it's awesome to be able to use that as a jumping off point for a lot of our decisions. All right, that, honestly, that sounds phenomenal. <laughs> We've got a short one today, so one last fun question. If you yourself had a fatality, what would it be? Ooh, oh my gosh, if I had a fatality. I always like it when we have ones that like kind of dismember a person before killing them. I like prolonging the suffering a little bit more. So it would be something along those lines. <laughs> the Baraka approach. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All right. <laughs> You're the first person who hasn't said, well, I'm not really violent, I'd have a friendship, so I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, you're close to it for so long, you're going to have something in your head. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.